Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well today. In this video, what we are simply going to do is to create an animated YouTube video intro inside of Canva. And this is for anyone who is looking to elevate the experience of your viewers whenever they are watching your YouTube video. So that is what we are going to be doing in today's video. If you are new to this channel, look, subscribe because this channel is everything Canva. And just in case you're on the free version of Canva, I have a link in the description box below that can help you start using Canva Pro for free. So make sure to check it out and let's dive into today's video. Right, so the first thing we are going to do is to come to create a design and make sure you're searching for video, okay? Yeah, and you should see, you know, something here that says video, click on it and it should open beautifully for you. A blank canvas like this is actually the thing you would see. So, what the first thing we are actually going to do is to press R on our keyboard, okay? And make sure we are stretching it out like this. And there's a reason why we are doing this, okay? Now, you can choose any color of your choice, okay? So, if you don't like this color, you can just come in here and choose any color but i think i would want to go with this for now okay just for the sake of this then the next thing is to add a photo this can be a photo of you or a photo of whoever you are creating the intro video for so i have a beautiful photo in here i'll make it bigger you know and i'll come to edit photo come to bg remover all right then you can see the background has been removed beautifully this is a canva pro feature so if you are using the free version of canva while watching this video please make sure to check the link in the description box okay for you know a free upgrade to canva pro so this is my image here and i would want to edit it a little bit so let's come to adjust and you can do this if you also want to increase the brightness the contrast will also come up a little bit you know just to separate the white from the blacks the vibrance and saturation is just to make sure you are punching the colors you know just to give the colors some boosts okay then i would come into effect okay back into effect and come into filters okay i'll scroll down i want to add a classic to it so this is what i am looking for the feel and vibe i'm looking for but you can feel free to choose any vibe of your choice now the next thing to do is to add our text okay so i would make my text big and I'll just say anything, maybe I can say get inspired. So I'm just saying get inspired, get motivated, get moving. And this has to do with your channel, whatever the channel is about. Okay, so let's change the font. I would come here and you can use any font of your choice. Okay, so don't feel like you always have to use the font I'm using. Okay, so in this case, I chose this one, but I don't think it's the best. I would go with Poppins. Okay, and let me know your favorite font. Okay, you can share that with me in the comment section below. I'd love to know what your favorite font is. So I'll choose black. Okay. Then just make sure you're clicking away so you can move it. Then make sure you're coming to effect. Okay. In effect, choose curve. That's nice. And with the curve, we want a rounded circle. Okay. So something rounded like that. Okay. You can see 67 actually gets everything to look like and you know a circle. And then we will make it very big. Okay, so once you make it big, you can position it here. And we can see how this is looking. So maybe what we can actually do is to, I can just delete maybe this, okay, because the circle looks too big. All right, nice. And this is one of the issues. So nice one, you can see what we are doing. And make sure the circle is looking good. Okay, so I have to increase it a little bit more. All right, then I can maybe just put it here and send it to the back okay so if you want to send it to the back you can right click come to layers and come to you know send to back but because we have a shape in you just come to show layers okay then just move it behind your image just like this and i can proceed to make my image bigger okay something like that all right now the next thing i would want to do is to add some shadows okay to the text and you can make this any color just in case you want to give it a 3d look or a 3d vibe okay so all you need to do is to increase the um, transparency and you can see what we have in this video beautiful so the next thing you can do is you can either choose to duplicate this okay and double click then see what you want to see so what's the channel about so i can see maybe it's about branding okay it's about design it's about um let's say business okay so we select it all and i would want to change the font so from poppins black to maybe you know medium and you'd also want to reduce the size all right then what we are simply going to do next is because of how this is looking it's going to be on top 
okay it has to be on top of what we have in here so the font would have to reduce it so let me just choose maybe 100 and let's see so you can see how this is looking it's actually like too small for what we are looking so you can just select everything and copy it okay then leave a space and duplicate it again all right so you can see now the words are overlapping then come to effect okay and come to the curve and just increase it okay increase it till you feel they are looking good nice one then we can increase the size very big and place it right on top okay yeah so right on top then this is what we are actually going to do send it to the back just like this okay and you can see how it's looking now we would want to change you know the effect maybe you just don't want any shadow for me so i'll just leave it to none and it would be like this okay now this is what we have created the next step is adding any shape of a choice so you can come here into element come to see or okay come to shapes okay and in shapes you can choose any element of your choice so i can have this i can make it bigger and maybe just have it somewhere here okay then maybe i can have another shape in here this one and i can just put it here increase the size as well something like this and we can maybe choose this one as well position this also over here okay let me make this smaller a little bit okay i can maybe move it here and i would want to add one last shape so which shape can we even add so we can maybe add yeah this one put it here and increase the size as well so you can see what we have just four shapes you can add as many shapes as possible but make sure it's not looking too busy okay then right click come to layer come to show layers okay so layer show layers and you can see we have it all selected just move it down and it should be on top of the shape layer but behind every other thing then you don't want to customize the colors okay so i can select this come here and choose maybe red okay for this then I can choose this, come to colors and choose maybe orange. I can choose this. If you're struggling to choose any element behind, just right click, come to layer. Okay, so layer, show layers. Then you can just select it. Okay, then come to color and make sure you're choosing any color of your choice. So maybe green for this, right click, layer, show layers. Okay, show layers. Then you can select the shape, come here and just choose in the color of your choice so we can also choose maybe yellow for this interesting so you can see how this is looking very 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 nice then create the second page okay before we animate everything we just want to create everything before we start doing the animation all right so over here i can decide to bring in the same image or if you have a second image you can use it okay so i'll paste it here and move it to the side okay nice one then we will just come to the background so just click on the background come into colors and choose any color of your choice so maybe we want to move from you know this blue to a red since it's about design we can put it here then press t on your keyboard okay so we would increase the size and we can just say hey, let's talk okay then i can make it big you can say anything anything at all your choice i'm just putting this here because of what i i'm just saying this for the sake of this tutorial okay then i'll just say maybe branding okay and like i'm saying you can always use any text at all your choice so poppins but with this you now i want this one to be different so you know poppins and you can choose maybe semi bold you know for the second one which is the brand i can see the black okay then make it bigger all right so let's talk branding and i'll just move it here and i'll right click come to layer show layers and bring it on top of it all okay so let's talk branding that's very very nice then you can also see with you know so with benjamin okay so your name is michael just put with michael with what your name is okay you can just put it over there then we can take the boot off all right nice one there this one will just make it white okay let's just make it white so come here and see white for it all anyway but it also will depend on the color of the background okay so keep that in mind anyway so now that we do this we can also add some extra shapes in here so maybe i can come here right click layer show layers so i can select multiple elements over here by pressing and holding ctrl while i select them 
okay then i right click and choose copy all right then come here right click and you can just do paste and you can see everything has been selected including the background so we can just take the background off okay now i'll take this to the back i'll change the color of this to a blue okay and i would want it to be visible so i can put it here and i can maybe move this you know to the back okay nice one so you can see what we have done over here so it's time for what we all love animation okay so let's animate every single thing all right so choose the first page and what we will need to do to make sure the animation is matching in order is we are going to go back into our layer okay so we can choose the background so select the background come to animate okay then you are going to choose the baseline okay so choose the baseline and reduce the speed okay so you can see depending on how you also want it okay nice one then the second thing i'd want to come up is me i want my image to be the second thing that animates in so i'm also going to choose the baseline okay so i'll choose the baseline and i'll reduce the speed as well all right then we are going to be choosing our text but it's very difficult to choose the text right now so i'll choose the bigger text okay and i would also choose the same thing so come to animate and we'll choose baseline okay so when we choose baseline we also reduce the speed okay because we want the image to come first before the text all right then we can come back into the show layers choose the next text okay then come to animate we are also baselining that one okay it's also coming then we reduce the speed for that one as well all right okay so now that we've done all of this what we can also do is we would also want the text to be rotating okay so click on the text again all right then scroll down you should see rotate all right so rotate and click on rotate and just have it you know the speed should be slow okay so something slow then we have the second text okay so you can also scroll down and choose rotate okay but i would want this to rotate you know to the other side and to clockwise okay so you can see how this is how come no no it should work okay don't worry nice okay so you can see then the shapes i will choose pop so just make sure you're looking for you no know, choose a shape and come to pop okay and reduce it so that the animation is more subtle then you can come to pulse okay or you can come to flicker depending on the one you want but i would love to go for routines so that we can actually see it rotating select this one as well choose pop for it first and reduce the size you can see how it's looking then we can maybe come to wiggle okay and the intensity should be low then we can also come to the shape here and also choose pop for it okay so i want it to pop in slowly while it also rotates and i want the rotation to be anti-clockwise then we have our last shape in here the same pop for it okay so that everything is looking beautiful then we can choose pause for it okay and also reduce the intensity so you can see everything is moving that is beautiful so make sure you are hovering your mouse in between the pages okay and click on add transition okay what you have to look for is match and move do you get it so you can select it and you can see how it, the whole thing animated or you can choose flow which is also another beautiful one but feel free to choose whichever one you want okay so i think maybe for the sake of this i'll choose flow because that's what i used in the preview one okay so yeah then we choose this okay we also do the same for it animate come to pop okay then you just have to reduce it and just add you know the motion so i want it to rotate while it pops this one would also pop okay while it wiggles and the wiggle would be very low okay yeah then we have the shape behind then we will choose pop again and the pop would also be low then we can also say maybe rotate but rotate anti-clockwise okay then this one as well would also pop we just bring it down here then we can flicker now nah, wouldn't be the best so maybe we would also choose rotate for this or pause okay yeah, pause is just like a heartbeat so something like that would be cool so maybe i can move this here and i can move this maybe somewhere here okay yeah then with the text okay with the text we can choose ascent 
okay so ascend for all ascend for this one as well then ascend okay that's lovely all right so let's take a look and see what we have done that's nice very nice amazing 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 i think we have really done a great job and i hope you enjoyed it so the only thing you would now have to do is add some music and if you want to add your music in canva this is what you can do okay so come into element in element which you are scrolling down you should see audio come to see all and i think let me just wear this so we can just play so you can listen to the audio depending on the one you want you know you can just use it okay so no, I want maybe some music. Okay. Okay. So let's say this is the audio we want. We just add it. Oh, let me add it. In fact, let me pause this thing. Okay, so we added our audio and stretched it out. So let's play it and see. Okay, so let me edit the audio like this and move it here. Let's see, okay. Okay, so I want it to start fading out maybe some ways. I can come to audio effects and I can do the fade out. Okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's play it again to see. Okay, so pom bon, then it ends. That's all. Okay, so. Okay, so I think what we can also do is maybe the audio effect, since we've given it a hard stop, I'll just leave it to zero. Okay, so. That's all. Pom bon. Wow, I think this is very nice. Let's play it for the last time. Wow, wow, wow. And I hope you enjoyed this. Wow, I really enjoyed this. And yes, this is what we have been able to create in Canva. If you love this, make sure to leave a like on this video. If there's any video at all you want me to make, leave it in the comment section and I'll make sure to check it out and create that video for you. The name is Benjamin. Always remember there is no limit to creativity and I should see you in my next video. Bounce it, 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 bounce it